Hi everyone, today's lesson is about describing a pie chart. First off, a pie chart is another data presentation method that is concise and effective. Pie charts are best in presenting categorical data like age, gender, and the likes. These are examples of pie charts. As you can see, they are colorful. In fact, each slice in a pie has its own color and stands for a single category. Remember, just a single category can be depicted in one slice of a pie. Let's now move on to the parts of a pie chart. Please take a moment to look at this. If you have noticed, the values are all positive. Negative values as well as zero can't be represented. All right, let's now proceed to the main lesson. The steps in describing a pie chart is similar to a bar graph. Once again, take a moment to please read the following steps. Thank you. So let's take this pie chart as an example. Before you begin writing, before you start with step one, the outmost essential thing to do first is to examine your pie chart. Take a look at the title, the categories, and the values provided. After this, you may begin with step one which is to write a general statement of what the chart is about. Information for this step can be found on the title, the legends, and the source and notes if they are provided. So for this sample pie chart, we may write our general statement this way. Let me read it. The given pie chart provides the proportion of energy sources for electricity in the U.S. in 2009. Notice that the statement begins with an introductory phrase. The given pie chart provides, followed by a pie chart language describing the quantitative data, which is the proportion of and then the rest of the sentence talks about what the chart is, which is sources for electricity in the U.S. in 2009. It is always better to rephrase the title as to copy it verbatimly. The source of the pie chart is not mentioned here as it is not provided. To vary the language in your essay, you may use the following phrases. The given pie chart illustrates the proportion of, or the supplied chart provides the percentage of. Please read the rest of the examples yourself and check your course book for examples on how to use these in a sentence. Moving on to step two. To write a one-sentence description on the trend depicted in general. For this sample chart, we can state it this way. Let me read. At first glance, it is clear that the country's electricity is mainly sourced out from coal. Again, an introductory phrase is used to begin this one-sentence description. And then the rest of the sentence describes the main trend, the one that stands out at first glance. Once again, vary the language you use in your essay. And the following list may help you on this. Take a moment to read everything and use them in a sentence for practice. Step 3. Go into details. Scrutinize the data. Try to look for patterns and try to classify them into largest to smallest 
or most to least. For this chart, we may say, we can see that out of the six electricity generators, there are three major sources, namely coal, natural gas, and nuclear. Coal comprises of more than two-fifths of the total electricity sources. This is followed by almost a quarter of natural gas and a little over a fifth produced from nuclear power at precisely 20.3%. Additional sources like hydroelectric conventional, other renewables, and petroleum cover 11.5% overall. Similar to step 1 and 2, use pie chart language to start the paragraph as well as in describing the data. You may explain the information by pointing out percentages or convert them into fraction or use appropriate English phrases. Use the following to begin the first sentence in step 3. Take a moment to read them all. To convert percentages into fraction, please study this list. If the percentages do not exactly match, then use these qualifiers. Also, you may use other phrases such as these to describe a certain range of data. Finally, step four, a short summary of the major trends and changes. As there's only one pie chart, the trends and changes that you could mention here are limited. For this chart, we may conclude it this way. And a further look at the data as a whole shows a great disparity between the 88.6% electricity produced by the three major sources against the considerably minute 11.5% made by the minor electricity suppliers. As a whole, this 2009 U.S. electricity generation by source pie chart can be interpreted this way. Please read and study the paragraphs. Can you provide your own interpretation of this chart? Put your knowledge on pie chart interpretation to the test. Describe this pie chart. Good luck.